So hello, welcome to another video from 10x Investor Education. This is a quick video. I want to give two important updates. So I have recently created multiple videos on some of the penny stocks. One is Atosa Therapeutics, which has a breast cancer drug. So I have been trading the stock since two dollars, and I have posted multiple videos. And it's in last two weeks the stock almost doubled from three dollars to six dollars. Okay, so the reason I want to give this update is there is an important update from this drug happening tomorrow at eight a.m. Pacific time. Okay, not Eastern time, Pacific time. So they are going to release the final data for their drug endoxifen for the for the administered to breast cancer patients prior to the surgery so they are going to announce the final results so the the stock is going to be pretty volatile tomorrow i just want to give an update if you are owning it keep an eye on that so if the results are good the stock actually might fall based upon buy and room, rumor sell on news or stock might stabilize and can go to next level but if the news is bad the stock can go back to three dollars or you know three dollars fifty cents so you deal with it and make sure you follow on it and take perspective action okay so as far as options market is concerned this stock showing six to seven dollar level for june 18th options and this stock is showing heavy option volume for nine to ten dollars for July sixteenth. So I am betting this tomorrow this will be good and stock will do, and then hopefully go to next level next month. Okay, that is about Atosa Therapeutics. Okay, so the other stock that I covered was Sensionix. Okay. So the Sensionic stock, I said, maybe it will go to $10 in my last video based upon potential annual revenue, based upon they're getting FDA approval and other things. So I just want to give you news that today, the option call volume for 2023, which is January 2023, which is one and a half years from now, is showing heavy call volume for $10, okay? So that's why option premium almost doubled. So it was giving like 70, 80 cents. Now option premium is $1.50 for a $3 shot. Can you believe? After 50% option premium for 2023. So your money will be blocked, but still you can get 50% premium and reduce the risk. So there are multiple ways to play. You can buy options or you can buy stock and sell cover costs. That's, how, that's what I do both ways. So that is about Sensionics and that is one of my strongest belief candidate because diabetes market which they are into okay and the competition they have with okay so that is about Atosa Therapeutics and then Sensionics. So I just want to talk about short squeeze candidates happening in the market okay and everybody is following it every lot of stocks getting going up 50%, 70%, 90%. So without knowingly or knowingly, I have been buying recently a couple of stocks that have been really went down by 50-60% either SPACs or stocks, okay. So some of them really going up last 2-3 days, okay. So I will be releasing frequently the short squeeze candidates that I'll buying or looking into buy, okay. So first one is Wish Context Logic, which is provides an e-commerce website. I already have a video long back on this one. The stock almost went down by 50% uh, after IPO. Recently, knowingly, one of my friend told, and then actually, you know, I, I thought it's good, probably good price to enter around $7.50, $0.80. Cents. I bought some, and actually it is going up like crazy today. So keep an eye, that is still a lot down compared to 52 high. The other one recently I want to talk about is I own this stock for a while. I've been observing SDC, Smile Direct company, which is a dental company. So Align, you know, Align Dental that is competitive to that. So they run Smile Shops. So the stock stuck at $8 for a long, long time. It is straight $12. So if you look at it, it is, um, it is one of the highest shorted volume of 30% 
and I also see some talk on these charts. So Smile Direct company, which is SDC symbol. The other one I bought recently, few options are large, just like yesterday. So that's Car Lodge. Um, they basically run bunch of used car uh, dealerships and they have been expanding like crazy. But with all SPAC meltdown, I think the, the, this particular SPAC went down almost to $4 and I think it's probably went to $5. Now it's it also going up. I see on Swaggy, a lot of mentions to it. So that is one little bit went up recently. So these are the short sale candidates I'm looking into and that I bought recently, some of them went up. So remember, these are pure swing trades. Okay, these are not long-term trades. I'm not going to recommend any of the stocks for long-term at all. So you just even could be a, this week or next week trades. So if you're long-term, this is not a good place. And uh, you know, this is very risky. They could go down by Friday, like 30, 40% down from where they'll trade tomorrow. So, but I just want to know, tell you that the candidates I am following, short squeeze candidates, and I just want to mention a couple of names. One is Carlarch, L-O-T-Z, SDC Smile Direct Company, and also the other one is Wish Context Logic. So that's what I want to give you a quick update today about these stocks. And um, I actually post on my Twitter, RK10X Investing, RK 10x investing. So it's very difficult to make videos on every day updates. And also because it takes time because so many things are changing in a day. Okay. So for example, um, for example, um, Atosa went down by like to four and a half, five dollars at one point for five minutes. Okay. So the fall can happen and especially you know this can go up by 30 40 percent in an hour so it's you can't expect a video to be made people watch so the best way i is like a lot of live updates i provide on twitter my arcade and next investing so if you are first time on my channel please subscribe to twitter and you will see a lot more updates than making videos okay so video is purpose is different than tweeting is different so if you are first time here, please subscribe and please follow the Twitter. And again, I'm not your investment advisor. Please do not take this as my investment advice. But these are the things I have been buying or bought recently. And, uh, you know, as I said, Sensionics is a very long term play for me. Auto is also long term, but rest of them are short Swiss candidates. They are nowhere long term for me. Could be a week or two week place. OK, so please click the like button. And uh, let me know what you think about this short squeeze candidates. I would like to know what you are buying other short squeeze candidates. And uh, thank you. And see you on my next video. Thank you.